If you take a look at your closest group of friends, either growing up or currently, how diverse is that group? Because although Hawaii is so diverse in its general population, I kind of noticed that if you take a look at our social circles, our more immediate social circles, they may not be as diverse as we think. So the other day I had to meet some friends at the airport because they're visiting from Japan and they needed to borrow a car seat. And so I parked and brought the car seat and I was waiting for them at the international exit. By the way, did not know that Hawaiian international flights come into Terminal 2 instead of Terminal 1. So I parked in the wrong parking lot. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. But as I was standing there and I was watching a lot of the visitors arrive, I noticed that most of them were Japanese. And as I stood there waiting and looking at all of the Japanese tourists. It got me thinking about sameness and diversity that we do have here in Hawaii. And I took a closer look at my own friends, my, my, my older friends growing up and, and, and all the way up through today. And I had to ask myself, is my group of friends all that diverse? And maybe there's something in Hawaii that we don't like to talk about. We don't want to think about it. We just want to accept that, yeah, we're all diverse. Melting pot is a term that we like to use for the diversity here. It mixes with our language and our food and our, our style, design, way of life. And of course, it comes down to our people, which is based on history and years of immigrants moving to Hawaii. But I think it's important to really look at our own social circles to see how diverse are we? I recently read this book entitled, I Never Thought of It That Way. And in that book, the author talked about three categories, sorting, othering, and siloing. When I read the chapter on sorting, which is basically finding people who are like us, whether we look the same or we think the same, we tend to find people who are similar to us. I instantly thought of my experience here in Hawaii. And the thing is, I had to ask myself, why didn't I grow up with any Hawaiian friends? And I guess because just growing up, you go to school in a very diverse classroom, yet you tend to gravitate towards people who are the same. And of course, this all changed when I went away to college on the mainland. I actually made friends who were from Colorado, but the friends that I had who were from Hawaii were actually quite diverse. And that was probably the first time that I was friends with someone who was native Hawaiian. And let me just say that from the start, it was a really great friendship. Let's just say for the sake of this video, his name is Jared. I don't know what it was about this guy, but he was just so friendly. I remember on the shuttle, on the way up from, from DIA all the way up to Northern Colorado, which is like, I don't know, like an hour and a half or something. We were just talking story and we both realized that we loved to play poker. And so <laughs> I remember we're sitting there and I'm, I, have my, I have a deck of cards and we're just playing and we're just playing like with fun money, like imaginary money. We're just throwing down bets. So we had no cash on us. We had no chips, but we we're just playing. So I dealt out the cards and we're, we we're playing and they were like, okay, I'll give you 10 bucks. And okay, 10 bucks. And of course, you know, this is adding up to like hundreds of dollars as we're going all the way up to, to campus. And we're just joking around. We just hit it off right away. Now again, that's not to say that I didn't know anybody who was Native Hawaiian up to that point, but I never really met anyone like on a personal level. Cause you know, in school, most of my friends, again, were Japanese, Chinese, Thai, I mean, like, like those were most of the people that I hung out with and <laughs> Korean, sorry, Korean. But then when I met Jared, I was like, oh, this guy's pretty like local. And he, he, he carried with him that, you know, I, I want to say stereotypical, but super laid back, super friendly, like just very easygoing, jolly guy. Of course, you know, Kamehameha School graduate, but just very personable and very friendly. And over the course of that year or two, we became really close friends. <laughs> we would go and play poker together all the time. There are these games that we would go together and, you know, call each other up. Hey, you let go? It's like, shoots, let's go. And so I meet up with him and then we'd go. And it was amazing to see him work these tables, you know, like, Back when I would play poker and, and you know, we were playing cards and stuff, I was more of a technical poker player. I was analytical and I knew the odds and, and you know, I'm trying to read. But Jared, man, that guy, he just, he had the personality for it. He had the smile, he, he made you love him. And then when you guys played and you lost, it wasn't even like you lost because 
you just enjoyed him. You just enjoyed being around him at the table. And later that summer when I had to go to summer school in Colorado, nobody else was there from Hawaii except him. <laughs> so me and Jared, pretty much every single night, call me up. Hey, what you doing? Oh, nothing. You like a Walmart? Shoots and either I'd pick him up or he'd come by and pick me up at my place and we'd just go walk around Walmart. <laughs> and that's what we did that summer. We became really good friends. Now, unfortunately, over the years, I lost touch with him and I have no idea if he's even back in Hawaii or he is still up in Colorado or he moved to the Pacific Northwest. But I can say confidently, like, we were very close friends. And that was my first Hawaiian friend. I don't know if that was a subconscious thing that I just had here growing up because yeah, we're surrounded by diversity, but in our lives, I think we still have that tendency maybe for that idea of sorting, of, of finding things that are the same and, and, and wanting to stick to that. And again, there's, I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that. It's just important to identify that even in a mixed plate like Hawaii. But the mainland seemed to break that spell for me. And I noticed that over the years, my friends have been very diverse. I have, you know, friends that are white, black, Filipino, and, and, and all mixed. And I didn't have that growing up. And when I, when I think about that diversity now, I kind of just wonder if other people experience that too. You know, and this video isn't to call anybody out. It's not meant to make people feel bad. I just, I think it's important that we at least acknowledge that because when I see other groups of friends or other groups of people in, in photos or things, especially as they're getting older, it's kind of interesting how that, that tends to happen, even within my, my own extended family. I kind of just wondered why. And this, I think, happens in all different ethnic groups. You look at like Hawaiian families, you look at Filipino families, you look at you know, Korean, Thai, Japanese, Chinese, you know, Caucasian, white, black. You, like, you just look at these groups of people even in Hawaii they oftentimes are, are, are sort of almost like siloed and, and sort of like separated. And I get it, you know, we, we tend to feel a lot more comfortable with people who look like us, who remind us of each other because you would assume that we all have these shared experiences. It, it's something that I recognize now, all these years later, having, you know, grown up in Hawaii and looking back on who my friends were and today, how that's just sort of changed how it's not just you know looking at people's last name and being like oh okay i'll be your friend and and maybe we don't do that consciously maybe <laughs> i don't know maybe that's a subconscious thing that we just tend to do right like oh i like this doctor because they have a japanese name or they have a hawaiian name or they have a chinese name so jared if you're out there you know who i am <laughs> i hope that you can hit me up Send me a, an email or a message. Just want to see how you're doing, man. Catch up. And for everyone else, maybe just take a look at your group of friends. You know, do they all have the same ethnic last name? Do they all have the same hair color? Do they all look kind of the same? And just think about it. You know, just think about it. And, and, and it's nothing, again, to be ashamed of or critical of. And, and nobody's pointing fingers and, and all that. But I just was something that I just noticed. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm wrong, and maybe I just noticed something that isn't there and it only applied to you know, my life when I was growing up. But even in a place as diverse and mixed play and melting pot as Hawaii, you know, I think, I think we tend to see that too. And I guess what does that say about us as a people? So thanks for watching and aloha.